Uh, yeah, look, it's pretty special. Um, I haven't had many in my career, and obviously the first one for the national team. Um, yeah, I can't even explain it, to be honest. It's still pretty raw. Uh, what did you make of the way that the pitch played out there? Um, yeah, it was pretty difficult. Um, you know, we had a session out there yesterday, and um, just getting used to it. Uh, we didn't have much time, but I think the boys, um, you know, played played to you know the best we could, and um, there was some still still some very tidy patches of play there where we we showed what we can do and created some really nice um, chances and opened them up. So uh, look, we're just looking to build on this performance tonight, and and you know build on it into Tuesday. Kai, uh, can you talk us through the, your goal a little bit there? Um, was it good that it came in a way that you didn't have much time to think about it? Yeah, hit the nail on the head, to be honest. Um, Fluke. Yeah. <laughs> Swiped at it. It didn't mean to slice it. It meant to smash it. But um, it went where I wanted it to go, I guess, at the goal. So, um, yeah, I'm just happy that it went in. And I think it's eight clean sheets in the past ten um, games for the for Socceroos. Uh, is that almost as important for you as a defender? That's one of the main things we set out every game for, you know, um, if you keep a clean sheet, then you, it puts you in good stead to win every game that you're in. Um, that was one of our main goals um, tonight and obviously previous games as well. If we go out and get a clean sheet, then, you know, we, we've got full confidence that we'll create the chances and take them. And Lebanon were able to push late, um, even hitting the post there. Was there anything you've learned from recent games between you and the defence that you were able to use to, I guess, uh, hold them off this time, even though there was that extra margin for error? I think, yeah, look, Teams are going to get chances. Um, we're, we're very confident and comfortable with each other playing that, you know, there will be periods in games where you, you have to soak up some sort of pressure, whether it be, you know, a counter-attack or a, f a couple of minutes spells that the other teams have. But, look, we're very comfortable with each other playing at the back. Um, whoever's in there, we know what role they're going to do. And, and, yeah, we have full belief and trust in each other. Okay, especially in that first half, Lebanon were running a lot of their attacks through Hassan Matuk down your side. How did you find going up against... A veteran, but very good player. Yeah, I thought he was tidy on the ball. Um, he he got away from me once in the in the first ten minutes, I think, and um, you know that was my wake up call to just kind of not dive in and and give him that space, but um, also get tight and get stuck in at the same time. Um, uh, yeah, look, sometimes you know you, you come up against players that are um, that have that quality, but. I think across the park we, we limited them to what they wanted to do. It was just they had a couple of counter attacks and I think, uh, you know, for the most part we were set up nicely and, and contained them. And multiple players were going down right in front of you on, in that left wing position. It was pretty easy to see where Geordie hurt himself. Did you see where Riley came a cropper? Um, not really, to be honest. Um, you know, I think Geordie's was clearer, obviously, but... Um, yeah, it's unfortunate. Hopefully they're, they're not too bad. Um, it's never good to see boys go off, especially that early. So, um, yeah, you know, hopefully they're, they're all good. Kai, how do you enjoy... I know you're traditionally a centre-back, but you're filling in a left-back for the Socceroos the last couple of games. How have you kind of found that challenge of going from one to the other? Um, I mean, it's different going forward, but defensively it's, it's all the same to me. Um, and... I'm just happy to be out there and, and, you know, whatever job I'm needed to do for the team, just like all the boys in the squad, um, I'm, I'm happy to do. And, um, you know, I'm just going to give it my all no matter what um, and where I am. So um, I'm playing out on the on the wide left at the back of a three anyway at club. So um, it's not that big a transition. But like I said, I'm just going to do whatever job I'm needed to do for the team. <clears throat> Perfect. Cheers, guys. <clears throat> Arnie, a pretty uh, professional performance out there tonight. Um, obviously, some injuries took the gloss off the, the result. Can you just talk us through the situations with Jordy and Yeah, I'd say, Riley? I'd say both are out. Um, both late arrivals, you know, uh, arriving, uh, I think they... Arrive about 1 a.m. Wednesday morning, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it was a bit tough to take for them, uh, you know, early on in the game. And obviously, I, I used two sub windows in the first half, so I only had one left in the second half. Uh, <clears throat> so it was making sure that uh, we got that sub right. But um, at the end of the day, as I said, it's uh, it was a, a good good performance but we can do better and we must do better and uh, I think we had uh, you know the only time towards the back end of the game was just sloppiness from us and we've got to do better than that Can I just ask on a similar note injury wise is, is 
I get, is Craig Goodwin going to be available for next Yes. Time? Yep. So yep. Yep. That, that, that's a boost, right, if he can come straight back yep. in for you. Yep, so good. He's uh, already down in Canberra waiting for us. So uh, he'll be uh, available <coughs> on Tuesday. Um, Arnie, when you say that, you know, the team can and must do better, what are you talking about specifically? In oh, just, Vince, just the uh, <coughs> bit of sloppiness, you know, turnover ball. And pitch wasn't easy, huh? So I think, uh, you know, some of the turnovers was... The boys don't normally normally make, but um, you know we've got to be better than that. And uh, you know, as I said, it was just a bit of sloppiness uh, towards the back end of the game. The last ten minutes it gave them a little bit more confidence. But uh, <clears throat> you know, as I, as I said, I you know the changes I made. Um, obviously, with John Idale giving him a, an opportunity and a chance, and um, you know, Yengi uh, starting the game with with Taggart and and that that. Uh, We've got to we've got to rebuild. You know we can't just sit still. And I've said that before the Asian Cup, and I'll say it again. You know, and <clears throat> like the, some of those older players might not make 2026, and uh, some are out injured at the moment. Um, as I said before, and the most important thing is that uh, you know we got the three points. You know we moved the nine points, and uh, you know we move forward. Do you think the surface might have contributed to either of the two injuries? I, <clears throat> Jerry, I can't comment on that. Um, I don't know. Um, it's up to the medical staff. But uh, yeah, as I said, it wasn't an easy surface to play on for the boys. In terms of the chance creation that you boys had, obviously Keanu's goal was a wonder goal, but that's <laughs> not something he's going to be able to replicate anytime soon. In terms of when it came down to getting into the final third and creating chances, you've spoken in the past about the boys need to be out there making that final pass. Mm. Do you think that was, again, the case tonight? Yeah. it's um, <clears throat> You know, we've got a heap of wingers out at the moment, um, injured, and uh, they're important when you play against a team that uh, plays in the back five or s sits back, but they didn't sit back as far as what I thought and that, that they would. Um, so it was a bit of a surprise for us, but, uh, you know, <clears throat> that's when you need more penetration, more runs in behind when uh, they're playing a high line. Arnie, you played with uh, the two strikers, obviously, as you mentioned. Mm. Um, what was the thinking behind that, and did you get what you wanted to achieve from that? Yeah, Vince, uh, the, the only reason really is because of the injuries to all the wingers. And um, if uh, probably I had the wingers, well, then maybe I wouldn't have done it. But uh, the fact that I've got more number 10s and number 8s in Connor Metcalf, who can and who I thought was excellent tonight, that uh, you know he can come into the pockets uh, from the wide areas in, and Aiden Aristich when he came on. And and uh, <clears throat> as I said, I think with the, we needed the two nines because of obviously the, the lack of wingers we've got at the moment uh, through injuries. Uh, a lot of people have been calling for uh, for Josh Nisbet. Uh, yeah, Josh Nisbet's inclusion for quite some time. Um, obviously, he didn't, um, you know, make the 23 mm. today with mm. the two injuries. Uh, do you expect him to yes. be named in the squad in Canberra? And do you think that he might get some game time? And what have you made of his, uh, you know, performance in camp so far? Yeah, look, the only reason I <clears throat> didn't put him in tonight is because he's only had three days with us, to, you know, no, and he's had pretty much just one session. And... Uh, you know, but he's, he's 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 fantastic. You know, I think uh, I'd love nothing more than to, you know, debut him uh, down in Canberra on on Tuesday. But the most important thing is is uh, we win the game and uh, <clears throat> make sure that uh, that we get everything right. Uh, Graham, obviously Keanu got his first uh, international goal tonight. Uh, how have you seen his development going the last six to twelve months since he's really sort of made that midfield spot his own? Yeah, look, I think um, <clears throat> Keanu is. He's getting better and better, I think, you know. Uh, he's uh, obviously playing at St Mirren in Scotland and, uh, you know, I think he has the, the qualities to go t to a higher level and, and that. But, uh, you know, the role that we want him to play, um, getting on the ball a lot and, and uh, you know, switching play or finding the pockets, he's, uh, he's learning and doing well. Uh, Graham, having had the players together in the Asian Cup for a few weeks there, what was the improvements you saw tonight as a result of, of having them together for so long? Yeah, look, I thought, again, it's uh, <clears throat> you bring in 20, 25 players from different clubs, different ways, and it doesn't matter. Um, you know, with uh, the, the different ways they play at the clubs, you know, it doesn't matter if you, if you've been, if you haven't seen them for six weeks, they'll still go back to a certain way. 
um, I thought at the Asian Cup we were getting better and better as as, as we were going. And, um, you know, the, the good thing about it is uh, I think tonight showed a lot as well that the boys are over the pain and the hurt from the Asian Cup. We had a good chat, very small chat, quick to remove it from our lives and let's move on. And it's all about what's in front of us. And I thought tonight they showed that they've done that. Honey, you obviously weren't planning to bring Aiden on in the manner that you did tonight. What sort of role did you envision in playing tonight? And will the fact that he came on earlier affect his loading or how you plan to use him in Canberra? No, I think he'll be fine. Um, but I thought <clears throat> it gives you that little bit of X factor. Some of the flicks around the corner, little chips over the top. And, you know, those type of things is what we're, what we're wanting. Um, I and mean, what we need in the final third against uh, some of these uh, opponents. So I thought he did very, very well. I thought he, um, you know, it's been, you know, quite a long while since he's played with us and uh, settling back in uh, was, was uh, the most important thing and he's settled in very well. Obviously, some of your best late plans have been up upended by the injuries tonight, but coming into this window, what sort of rotations were you expecting to make heading into this Canberra game? Were you planning to have it mostly the same or were you, were you planning to shift, shift things around? No, look, I think uh, after that game, and we've got to wait and see how they recover and, and that, and uh, obviously we've got 23 players. <clears throat> Fresh legs are always good, so... Uh, just want the boys to have a bit of downtime tomorrow, see family and friends. You know, they live all overseas and they don't get to see their families and that that much. So I do believe that's the best recovery session for them. Uh, Graham, Josh Nisbet obviously not involved tonight. Is he a chance for Tuesday night because he's having a magnificent campaign? He at asked the, me the same question. Did he? He, uh, he, he's already asked me that Sorry. question, yeah. Yeah, Arnie, Arnie, just you mentioned, you know, the the front line and looking to the future. Do you look at Tuesday in Canberra and say John Ardell, Ardell came on and looked pretty impressive in his in his twenty five minutes? Do you throw the gauntlet down to him and say that's your this your chance to show me what you've got? Yeah, I'll go back and review the game and uh <clears throat> you know, I thought Cass did quite well as well. And uh, you know, it's I've got to try people. I've got I've got to try and uh give players the opportunity and find find players for that role. Another player you try is one we've seen before in Adam Taggart. Um, can you mm. tell us about his selection, perhaps even over Mitch Duke? And is that, you know, form, fitness? And yeah, what did you make of his game? The reason I didn't start Duke, was mainly because he's, uh, he's only played 10 minutes in Japan this year. So he's, they're only into round three, so they're not into <clears throat> long in the season. But, uh, you know, I think bringing him on with his experience to run out the last, you know, 20, 30 minutes is also good. Uh, because he brings good energy and he works hard defensively to get back, but also, you know, he's got some good qualities to put the ball in the back of the net. And you touched on the injuries to Riley and Jordan earlier. Can you just confirm what the early diagnosis is for each of them? No, I can't because uh, I've got to wait for the medical staff to have a look at him. You know, one, uh, Riley's in a boot at the moment and uh, jordy has got it strapped, so no doubt they'll go and uh, get a scan uh, tomorrow sometime and then we'll find out what, what the diagnosis is. Thank you, guys. Thank you.